നമുക്ക് ബയസസ് ഉണ്ട് എന്ന് എല്ലാ സ്റ്റഡീസും പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ആർ ബയാസ്ഡ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ആർ നോട്ട് റാഷണൽ ഓൾവേസ് അപ്പോ ആ സിറ്റുവേഷനിൽ ഈ ബയാസിന്റെ എഫക്ട് വന്നതാണ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് എയ്റ്റിൽ ക്രൈസിസ് വന്നത് വാസ് സം കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ബ്ലാക്ക് മൺഡേ ബ്ലാക്ക് ഫ്രൈഡേ മണി ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ആർ ഡ്യൂ ടു ബയാസസ് So, how we can manage the biases? That is investment strategies to avoid biases. So, the biasing techniques, commonly we call it as de-biasing techniques. So, the process is called de-biasing. So, you can also, uh, your personal life also, you have many kind of biases. Maybe emotional biases or cognitive biases. So, that biases. can be tackled by using debiasing techniques so debiasing is a process through which the influence of cognitive bias can be decreased so thing you should understand that it is very difficult to solve emotional biases emotional biases can be solved through a psychiatrist so it's it's due to emotions high end the emotions we cannot control the emotions no people cannot control the emotions to biases you know what this cognitive bias somebody ha- can explain cognitive biases it occurs due to thinking or, or uh, we, we already have some kind of information uh, uh, so that information leads uh for the biases the, the biases comes out of the cognitive thinking so that kind of biases we can avoid we can tackle uh through debiasing techniques so debiasing is uh, learning from the past watching the present and creating the future so learning from the past watching the present and creating the future So the best one you can adopt this principle learning from the past you can learn from the past so if, if, for example if it is in the stock market stock market you have suffered a loss you can take example which are the factors where uh, uh, troubled you so that is learning from the past and you can watch the present market and you can create the future you have the people think in an optimal way more rational thinking may happen through the can happen through the biasing so rationality rational thinking uh, is essentially needed our rational in the pala theories in bar but the the new theories Uh, we have to prove that investors are not rational so we have to create the rationality through some debiasing techniques so next is uh, stages on. of body uh, breakdown this is network issue here industry wide kind of so there are stages of deep passing process uh, audible right now so i have changed my network okay so ch- stages of deep passing process the first process is the awareness we should be able to identify that a bias uh, happened so you have to identify i am biased so you are biased so that kind of identification or diagnosing is very important uh in the process of investment the second one decision it is necessary to take action to reduce the identified biases decision means it is necessary to take action to reduce the identified bias you have to take some kind of action 
uh, to reduce that identified bias. If you feel that you are being biased, or you are being biased with overconfidence, you are being having uh, hints at bias. So these kind of biases you have, you have to identify that. Suppose in the class, uh, uh, some of you uh, identify that uh, you are overconfident. The confidence is good, but the overconfidence is not good uh, in some situations. So uh, some of the people identify that uh, we are overconfident, so we have to avoid that bias. So uh, uh, the second one is decision is necessary to take action to reduce the identified bias. The third stage is analysis, a detailed analysis of when, where, why, and how the bias would occur has to be done. So you can do a detailed analysis of when, and how the bias would occur has to be done. In future also, you will be like overconfident. So you can reduce the situation that you, you are saying or your discussion with, the, with that overconfidence scenario that could be avoided. So you can make a situation analysis. Situation analysis. The next planning, identify the optimal way to avoid biases and its implementation. The first process is you, you just aware that you are in bias. And second one, uh, steps to take, uh, steps to be taken to reduce the identified bias. And third one, analysis, analysis of when, where, why, how the bias is through the So there are situations in which the biases can come up and you can analyze the situations in which you get the biases. That situation, that means the scenario analysis or sensitivity analysis, that kind of way you can do work out. Analysis of the situation. And the next process is planning, identify the optimal way to avoid the biases and its implementation. And next is action. The planned approach for debiasing can be implemented. So debiasing, the, the technique of debiasing can be implemented. And the last one is follow up. Assessment of the implemented approach should be done then and thus further modifications can be made. This helps for further analysis. In the same situation, investment also, uh, the famous theory uh, of technical analysis stated that the history repeats. Charitram Avartiku. So you can feel that there are several situations of the previous type has been has been repeated in future market la ore tarathilulla situations pinna pinna avarku ningala daily life thana ningal aalokkum idhe pole the situation last year la undayittund adinu mumbu undayittund the same situation will come up right now so anganeulla situation varundu appa aa situation la pandu ningal engane react cheyadu ipo ningal engane react cheyan povunu oru pravasham ningal bad experience vandittundengil you have to realize that I was biased at that time. And you can reduce that bias now. You can change your attitude. So this is called as follow-up. Uh, you can do follow-up. So these are the stages of debiasing process, awareness, decision, analysis, planning, action, and follow-up. So in the actually investment, uh, so investors can do something uh, techniques, some techniques, they can use some techniques. Understanding the market anomalies. What is anomaly? I have explained anomaly. What is market anomalies? What is theoretical anomalies? Have you heard the word of word that is anomaly? Anomalies 
suppose the, the Supreme Court of uh, India, High Court of Kerala, have uh, implemented some, or if if the collector of Trivandrum, uh, or if the Chief Minister of the state or the Prime Minister of the country have implemented some rules, soon after that the people find some anomalies, or there is a lacunas of these rules or the people can uh all the people can violate these rules this kind of thing is called anomalies so similarly uh, we have a lot of theories that all these theories have assumptions but in practical sense we, these assumptions cannot be true in uh, in all situations so there are in theories also anomalies in law anomalies in orders anomalies in administrative orders anomalies in high court orders anomalies in supreme court orders so we can find anomalies in all orders so uh, in market also anomalies so people always have an expected return but the actual return may be different from the expected return some people's actual return may be more than the expected return and some people actual return may be less than the expected return all right so a good investor should understand the market anomalies to avoid losses due to biases. A good investor find out need to find out why uh, the return was reduced, the actual return was reduced as compared to the expected return. It may be due to some market anomalies, or market disturbances, or distortions in return, which may happen. So a good investor should understand the market anomalies to avoid the loss due to biases. Okay. So understand the market anomalies is important. Then avoid market overreactions. What is market overreaction? It was a 2008 crisis market overreaction and uh, 2000. Uh, 2019 it was happened, 2020 it was happened. But it's market overreaction. Anybody can explain what is overreaction? Classic. Classic. Finding your info. So, uh, anybody have you experienced that any overreactions from your class within the class, any student or any faculties overreacted? Any experience? So, Ningala and Para and the Pioneer over. Chalalkar, be frank, any experience? Yes, uh, due to some news overbought or oversold. What do news like? News skate out or any other say, other share give you one more share. Okay, exactly. But uh, another <clears throat> news, okay, that one, we have one news in the truthfulness identity. That one, we have one decision made. That is our reaction. Now, 2008 crisis, one, US, le, uh, kore banks, in a problem, one, so. World Mudan Prasna Madame Bono, coupling effect under the Barnatella. 
സ്റ്റോക്ക് വിറ്റു ഇന്ത്യയിലെ ആ കപ്ലിംഗ് എഫക്റ്റിന്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് ഇന്ത്യയിലുള്ള ഇൻവെസ്റ്റേഴ്സും സ്റ്റോക്ക് വിറ്റു അപ്പോ ഫൈനലി ഓരോ ആൾക്കാരും റിയാക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നത് എന്ത് ഇന്ത്യയിലുള്ള എല്ലാ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റേഴ്സും ഇക്വിറ്റി ഇൻവെസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ഡെറിവേറ്റീവ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് അത് എല്ലാവരും സെൽ ചെയ്യാൻ തുടങ്ങി കഴിഞ്ഞാലുള്ള അവസ്ഥ ആലോചിച്ചു ഇപ്പൊ ഇന്ത്യൻ മാർക്കറ്റ് ഇന്ത്യയുടെ എക്കോണമി തകരാൻ പോവുകയാണ് ഇങ്ങനെ ന്യൂസ് വന്നു ഇന്ത്യയിലുള്ള എല്ലാ ആൾക്കാരും സ്റ്റോക്ക് വിൽക്കുവാണ് എല്ലാരും അവരുടെ സ്റ്റോക്ക് സെൽ ഔട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ തീരുമാനിച്ച മീൻസ് ഓവർ റിയാക്ട് ഡിസ്പ്രോഷനേറ്റ്ലി ടു ദിസ് ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ മേജർ തിങ് so we can over react proportionately to the information we can react proportionately to the information but the people are doing disproportionately to this information over react so there are, uh, similarly you can find that uh, uh what i'm uh, trying is uh, you can find some shares and the price is much higher you can find some shares the price is much higher than the real value why it was so high explain this behavior would make the securities price is not reflect the real value of the company and even change dramatically this overreaction to news can also originate bubbles in the prices of equities like seen on the prices of uh, tech company stocks during the late 90s chala companies in the prices nammal parayum perivi kadakku annu parayum it's like a bubble that means the price is much higher as compared to the real value some companies price may be low as compared to the real value so we have to identify which one is overpriced and which one is underpriced this pricing may be due to over reaction so you last class you have experienced that rajesh junwala purchased some shares some of, some of the people also follow him they also purchased the same shares right so this all over reactions if you get some information you can react proportionately to this information don't overreact disproportionately to this information so as a debiasing technique uh, you you have to avoid market overreactions the first was point i i told you uh, understanding the market anomalies if any market anomalies are there you have to understand then you can avoid the market overreactions next uh, i don't know uh, you are not, you are able to do this thing uh, do high frequency trading so there are institutional investors or institutional brokers like nemura uh, georgit this kind of brokers they do high frequency trading what is high frequency trading high frequency trading is a new way of trading that uses automated platforms based on the use of complex algorithms to analyze simultaneously many markets and execute orders in a faster and more efficient way these supercomputers owned and used mainly by large investment banks have changed the stock market in the last decade in a substantial since millions of orders in a matter of seconds can be executed through high frequency trading large investment banks takes advantage over normal investors so what is trading so we can trade through software so super computer so in us market chinese market, japanese market we can see lot of uh, high frequency trading using these automated platforms so uh, if uh, some of the institution using this kind of uh, platforms with high funded highly funded support from other some other uh, investment companies so that may be uh, a good uh, suggestion 
the good method to overcome the bias. So high frequency trading, but uh, in, an individual is not capable of capable to do high frequency trading. You just to understand that uh, all these high frequency trading can be done through supercomputers and uh, and using automated platforms or use of complex algorithms. Uh, they can they 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 were analyzing simultaneously many markets and execute orders in a faster and efficient way. So as a devising technique, uh, you can do high frequency trading to capture the market. So reduce the sunk cost uh, trap effect in the market. So you 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 know what is sunk cost. Sunk cost means a past cost which has spent in the past and there is no importance for the future decision making. Cannot be re-established, which cannot be uh, recovered. So it explains the tendency of the people to continue with an irrational action even though it's, it isn't matching their expectations just because they have already put too much money or effort in it. So I personally know some of the brokers or some of the traders, some of the investors, they have lost some huge amount of money in the stock market uh, due to some irrational decision bias, but still these people uh, are interested to recover those amounts so that they are uh, trading or they are uh, purchasing the same stock. We can say that averaging. Have you, have you experienced what is averaging in stock? What is mean averaging? Stock market average and or another. Average. Anybody? Any idea? Any idea averaging? Yes or no? What is that? Okay. So averaging means uh, it's an it's it's coming from the uh, coming from Coming through emotions, suppose you have purchased the stock at a price of rupees 100 and you purchased 1000 stocks. 1000 stocks, each stock pricing 100 means 1000 into 100, that is 100 rupees you have spent. After two weeks of your purchase, the stock's price has reduced. Rupees 50. So, purchase two weeks back for rupees 100, and now it, the same price in stock is pricing in the market rupees 50. What is your net worth? Your net worth now? So that time you can have a feeling that investment with the 
करतो आज right so this process is called the investors do this kind of thing this process is called averaging avar average cheyondirikkum oru stock but idu valare prashna on undakana adu avarude total investment in allengil total return saramai baadikkum so this kind of attitude this reduces some cost trap effect in the market allow something or someone that cannot love you back especially stock if you love a dog the dog will love back if you love a person in the person will love you back but if you love a stock the stock cannot love you back so uh, the thing is you can do smart trades plus no emotion that is profitable relationships so you will learn to remove emotions from owning stocks so now uh, it is not in your syllabus but it's very important behavioral finance i don't know the people who said the syllabus they have fully avoided nudging part from your syllabus so nudging is hardcore part of uh, behavioral finance uh, nudging nudging for policy decision making so anything attract the behavior of people things which influence the choices we make so uh, in the daily life we have so many choices so there are informations there are nudges uh, which have the capacity to influence our choices so if there is a nudge uh, suppose you in the morning uh, you uh, when you re- while you reading the newspaper you can uh, you find that uh, there is an offer given by a mall so uh, that positively influence your mind and uh, in the evening time you may go to the mall and take that offer that may be a nudge sometimes if there is an offer uh, given by a mall in the noon time 12 o'clock some some people in your class may not come here and they go directly to the mall and some theater cinema theater or something like uh, Fifty percentage off for the tickets. Some students may go to the cinema theater and watch movies. These are called nudges. These nudges influence your choices. So these are nudges. Nudges. Richard Sala got Nobel Prize nudge theory. So seventy-five percentage off. These are choices which influence your mind. these are not just suppose you purchase that buy now learn more suddenly a window come up and you learn more buy now you just uh, uh, click it and you go to purchasing because you don't have an intention to buy the product but you finally bought the product so this kind of things these are not just created by the manufacturers right now so these are again not just, uh nudging passionate football fan fan keep streets clean who is the best player in the world ronaldo messi is dustbin so you can uh, this very attractive dustbin people uh, will definitely insert dust to this dustbin so that beautifully articulated dustbin and the corona hacks to nudge people to stay in dot so you might have experienced this and uh, uh, this is a very interesting nudge 
one of the most famous applications of Nazi theory, Amsterdam authorities painted a housefly. This housefly painted on the urinals, providing users a target to aim that. This reduces spillage on bathroom floor by 80%. So, the housefly is painted on the urinals. And after that, the spillage on the bathroom floor by uh, reduced. The spillage uh, reduced on the bathroom floor by 80 percentage. Right? It's another one. Stockholm City nudging in citizens to use chairs, stairs by turning them into keys of piano. 70 percent of citizens preferring stairs over the escalator. So, uh, this will promote the citizens to use stairs uh, by turning them into keys of piano. Because after that, the people uh, using these uh, stairs instead of escalators. So, if you have an opportunity to read the book, you can read that nudge uh, improving decisions about health, wealth, and happiness. It was written by Richard Tyler and Cost and Steam. So it's a famous book. It's available in the bookstore. So you can read that. So behavioral economics to applications in the Indian context. Recently, economists have discovered uh, the efficacy of new class of policies called nudge policies. So nudge policies generally steer people towards desirable behavior even while preserving their liberty to choose. Uh, according to the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, there are more than two, not two, government institutions using behavioral insights around the world. So, we can have examples of nudge policies for increasing tax compliance in India. Citizens can send variations of text messages on how their taxes make difference in the public services. So, now, uh, I, I think last, uh, since last uh, two, three years, we will get messages from the income tax that is to pay tax. And what is the impact of paying tax to the poor citizens? So this kind of messages uh, are acted as nudges for reducing dropout rate of poor families. So parents can be informed about the average income gains from the spending on a more year in school for children. Uh, to increase savings rate, people can be offered specially designed savings accounts that locked up funds until a self-specified target was met. These are the nudges, uh, popular nudges used in the uh, economic scenario. So we have a lot of behavioral economics uh, applications in India. The Economic Survey 2019 has drawn uh, on Nobel laureate Richard Tyler, behavioral economics theory to lay out which it, what it describes as an ambitious agenda for behavioral change that will bring in social change, which in turn will help India transit to a $5 trillion economy to, by 2024-25. So India is all, all, all uh, started uh, adopting the policies of behavioral economics theory of Richard Tyler, and uh, we are focusing on the uh, development of the economy through this uh, behavioral economics theories. Uh, so that we have implemented uh, many uh, many schemes uh, like uh, Swachh Bharat Mission, Jandan Yojana, Beti Bajao, Beti Padao provide testimony to the potential of for behavioral change in India. So the people have to be changed. So the central government implemented many policies uh, uh, for the people change. So this is a book written by Richard Taylor. These are the schemes. So, and another topic which is in the syllabus that is market inefficiencies or deficient market hypothesis. Uh, that is in your syllabus. Uh, we studied that the market is not efficient. And there is a theory which uh, states that the market is efficient by pharma. Uh, and uh, that theory was proved as wrong so that the market is inefficient. Recently, uh, we have organized a conference, uh, international conference here, and uh, one of the uh, prominent resource persons from uh, uh, 
uh, Victoria University of Australia. Now he is working in Long Long University of Dubai, and he rightly said that. And his study, he rightly said that uh, the people uh, he studied the markets, efficiency of markets, and he studied especially efficiency of Chinese market, and he proved that uh, with the database he proved that the Chinese market is efficient in percentage only that means 99 percent the chinese market is not efficient so similarly we have a lot of studies chinese market american market japanese market singapore market no market in the world is completely efficient so the market are inefficient so what are the reasons for the inefficiency of market efficient market means nobody can make profit out of the market because the prices of shares automatically reflect the current information available in the market. What I'm trying is, uh, in practical scenario, markets are not efficient, right? So, there are uh, traditional finance theories assume that the market is efficient, meaning the price of each security coins that go insights with the fundamental value. According to Shafrin, behavioral finance contradicts this approach and assumes that market is not efficient always. Many factors leading to market inefficiency are lower interest rates and increased use of debt financing problems due to weak government regulation, the availability of information and its analysis, etc. So demographic factors may also influence the market inefficiency. The demographic factors is a major factor which influence the market inefficiency. So we have investors from 18 years to 80 years, 80 years. Padinetta wise to temple wise were all investors. Their age itself is a problem. So some people are aggressive investors, like 18 to 30, 35. That age uh, investors are aggressive. That means they are taking huge amount of risk. Their perception and their behavior is different. And the investors like more than 10, 35 to 50, they are defensive investors because their age uh, factor uh, says that they aren't uh, ready to take more risk. So the factor is very important, age, sex, education. These all factors are very much influenced uh, on the market efficiency. So these factors are to be studied so that we can say that the market is not efficient in anywhere in the world. So there are market inefficiencies. Uh, I have given notes of this cornering. Uh, you can read uh, all these things. Cornering means just corner uh, the entire stocks of a particular company. For example, a phone company that dominates 90% of the wireless market could be said to have cornered the market. A person holding 90% of the shares. So he can influence the market. So the corner is cornering itself is prohibited in India. It has been controlled by SEBI. If SEBI informed that if any of the investors have evidence that he cornered the stock of a particular company, the SEBI uh, charged penal action against that particular investor. So cornering is banned in India. As an investigation, SEBI has been treated as a watchdog of Indian stock market. And SEBI usually uh, monitors in the stock market and about the investors. They will collect the data regarding the investors. If a particular investor, uh, it has been evident that the investor has a particular stock uh, that uh, is being uh, uh, penalized. An inefficient market, uh, which apart from the cornering, there are insider trades. Trading, insider trading, you might experience that insider trading means a person who is inside the company who started trading up with the same company stock. That means uh, you, you, you know that uh, we have Reliance Industries Limited. You know Reliance Industries Limited, uh, uh, the promoter, the main promoter is Mukesh Ambani. So sub, suppose somebody uh, like... Uh, 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 found that the Mukesh Ambani started trading in the industry. That is an example of uh, insider trading. 
so a person who are who are treated as a promoter or a financial officer or specifically officer are not supposed to trade with the same company shares so that is insider trading the why it is prohibited is insider knows the information inf important information of one particular company so that information may be vital for the purpose of making a profit uh, of that company so the insider trading is uh, being banned by sebi if uh, if uh, recently you might have experienced that sebi charges 10 crore penalty against uh, reliance industries for insider trading then circular trading uh, circular trading again is a fraudulent activity uh, where the sell orders are entered by a broker who knows that offsetting the buy orders for the exact same number of shares at the same time so by giving the sell and buy order same time this huge amount of uh, stocks uh, and uh, they are uh, manipulating the markets right now price rigging is also two or more people work together to increase the price of a useless stock to a high level so there are people uh, who are in the market they wanted to increase this particular stock price stock even though the stock uh, does not have a proper fundamentals uh, <clears throat> earlier we have experienced that the stock is which is much higher than the real value that is bubbling so that kind of uh, thing is called price rigging. Uh, some of the people mean person from Gujarat, a person from, for example, a person from Gujarat, uh, he, uh, in the morning, uh, when the market is opened, uh, he purchased uh, one lakh number of stocks of particular share. This morning itself, the one lakh, one lakh shares were purchased, that means the stock is going up. <clears throat> but these people are, uh, Attention, uh, fundamentally, they just purchase for the purpose of uh, to increase the price of that particular stock. And in the noon time, if the stock is means after these one lakh numbers purchased, some normal investors uh, investors feel that the stock prices is going up, and they also purchased. So the prices may be go up uh, in the noon time or in the evening time they may sell out the shares. The morning purchase people they sell the shares. So this is called price rigging. So these are, are the inefficient markets. Okay. So any doubts you can ask me. Next topic we can we can do next class. So let me know any doubts for his with this topic inefficient market debiasing techniques any doubts you can unmute your mic and say ask okay so uh next class at the class tomorrow